guys, welcome back to our three month Fit Body 2019 challenge. Today is Friday, so we are doing full body, and I'm gonna walk you through all the proper form tips for each move in today's challenge. Move number one is going to be a single leg deadlift. So you only need one dumbbell for this move, and you're gonna be doing opposite leg, opposite arm, all right? So to do this move, it's one-legged. It does require some stabilization. Really important to be sure that this knee is not caving in, okay? So that's tip number one. Be sure that, that knee is directly over your foot and being pushed out. And then you simply shift your back down and hinge at the hips. So let me show you from the side what that looks like. You want the movement of your back and your leg to be um, in unison. So just like that, okay? Stabilize and then return. And when you return, you're pushing up through your heel, okay? Or, or through your entire foot. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I don't want you to do, okay? I don't want you dropping this first and then raising your leg or raising your leg first and then dropping, all right? Like I said, hinge at the hips and your back should be dropping the same time your leg is raising, all right? Stop when you're about parallel and then return and then you wanna be sure that you switch sides. All right, this does require balance and it's not uncommon for me to fall in these either. So if you need to kind of have something there in case you need to hold on to it, that's totally okay. But don't rely on it. All right, chest up. Hinge, all right, the movement should be hinging from the hips and back. All right, move number two is going to be a curtsy lunge. So grab both of your weights, chest up, and you're just going to lunge backwards into the side. So a normal lunge would just be going straight back, all right? Curtsy lunge is to the side. Be sure that knee is not caving in, all right? Engage your core. And switch sides. All right, you can also have these down if you like. Um, I personally prefer them to be up at my chest because it helps to be sure that my chest is up and that my back isn't rounding over. Move number three is a reverse half press. So what that's gonna look like is you're going to have the dumbbells here and then you're gonna push them up halfway. So it's not a full extension. You're just raising it up halfway. I'll show you from the side, just like this, all right? You're really gonna feel it in your biceps, your triceps, and your shoulders and your core if you're engaging it properly. <sighs> Inhale, <sighs> exhale. Great job. All right, we're gonna do commandos. <sighs> so you're gonna get down on the ground, high plank, body in a straight line, down to a plank, then immediately back up. And what you wanna do is to try to minimize hip swinging. So what I don't want you to do is this, all right? That is not engaging your core. You're just swinging all over the place. So really try to minimize hip swinging, just like that, and back up. All right, and be sure, of course, to keep your core tight. Have a slight internal rotation of your pelvis to really engage your core. Fifth and final move is going to be a hollow body hold. I know this move is killer. So if you need to do it and kind of set, do it for five seconds and drop, do it for 10 seconds and drop, that's totally okay. Tip number one is to be sure that you are not arching your back. It needs to be flat to the ground. Internally rotate your pelvis and that's gonna help. Arms and legs outstretched. And raise. All right, if you wanna really Make it even more difficult. Raise your upper body. All right, and like I said, if that's too difficult, <laughs> then all you need to do is just to do it for five seconds, drop, give yourself a few seconds to breathe, and then go back into it, all right? So this is gonna help you build up your core strength over time to be able to do that move for longer. All right, Rigatoni, what do you say? Are they done? <laughs> That is it for today's challenge. Go crush your workout and don't forget to check the description below for how to enter to win the grand prize for this challenge. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.